Hello students, welcome to the classes. In this session, we will derive few important derivations in trigonometric chapter. Right. So let's derive the first concept or first formula. Okay, we have seen sine theta as what opposite sine theta as what opposite by hypotenuse. We have seen sin theta definition opposite by hypotenuse and cos theta definition is what adjacent by hypotenuse right adjacent divided by hypotenuse hypotenuse right now what happens if you divide sin theta and cos theta i mean if you take sin theta divided by cos theta now what happens so let's divide opposite side opposite side divided by hypotenuse that is nothing but sin theta right whole divided by adjacent side by hypotenuse right adjacent side divided by hypotenuse now what happens so let's cancel hypotenuse hypotenuse on both the sides i mean on both numerator and denominator so now what do you get opposite divided by adjacent right so we got sin theta divided by cos theta as what opposite divided by adjacent right now what is opposite side divided by adjacent side in the previous session we have seen opposite side by adjacent side is nothing but tan theta right so we get sin theta divided by cos theta is nothing but what tan theta so this is the first derivation i wanted to derive now let's see the second derivation here now what happens if i take reciprocals on both sides sin by cos if i take reciprocal what i get cos theta by sin theta what i am doing i am taking reciprocal on rhs take reciprocal on rhs also you get 1 by tan theta right now cos theta divided by sin theta as it is now what is 1 by tan theta reciprocal of tan theta in the previous session we have seen it is nothing but cot theta so we get what cos theta by sin theta is nothing but what cot theta so these are the first two derivations okay now let's derive the third derivation let's derive three more derivations uh, they are called as trigonometric identities they are called as trigonometric identities so first we have done we have derived sin by cos is tan next cos by sin is cot right so now derive to derive the trigonometric identities what i will do here is i'll just write the headline as trigonometric identities okay so trigonometric identities okay so first to derive trigonometric identities i will use this triangle okay so now by pythagoras theorem so we know pythagoras theorem right what is pythagoras theorem says what does it says it says pythagoras theorem says the square of the hypotenuse square of the hypotenuse what is the hypotenuse here ac so square of hypotenuse ac square is equals to the sum of the sum of the other two sides i mean sum of squares of other two sides other two sides are ab and bc sum of their squares their squares means ab square and bc square so what does pythagoras theorem say is the square of hypotenuse is equal to the sum of squares of other two sides in a right angled triangle so here we are considering the right angled triangle itself right now see here according to pythagoras theorem we got ac square equals to ab square plus bc square right now let's derive the three relations or three trigonometric identities 
I will call this as equation 1. So now to derive the first trigonometric identity, what I will do is divide divide equation 1 equation 1 equation 1 by the first term. What is first term here? AC square. I will divide equation 1 by AC square. Divide equation 1 by AC square on both sides. I will write on both sides. Now if you divide to the equation 1 by AC square on both sides, what do you get? See here, AC square by AC square equals to AB square by AC square plus BC square by AC square. I am dividing every term by what? AC square. Now, AC square, AC square cancel, we get what? 1 equals to, here I have, I can, can I write it like this? Can I write it like what? AB by AC whole square, right? I will take the square commonly, right? And BC by AC whole square, right? Now see here, 1 equals to, what is AB by AC? AB is nothing but here opposite. AC is nothing but here hypotenuse. Opposite by hypotenuse. Is it not sin theta? So here this is nothing but sin theta whole square. Plus what is BC by AC? BC is adjacent. AC is hypotenuse. Adjacent by hypotenuse is cos theta. So this is nothing but cos theta whole square. So I will just modify it and write it. Sin theta whole square. We can write it as sin square theta plus cos theta whole square. We can write it as cos square theta. That is equal to what? That is equal to 1. So the first trigonometric identity is what? Sin square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1. Right. Now what I will do is either we can take to I mean to derive the next formula either you can use the equation 1 only or what you can do is you can use the this I mean the derived equation let me call it as equation 2 okay so let's use this relation okay from equation 2 okay divide divide by what I will do here is on both sides I will divide it by sin square theta okay on equation 2 on both sides see I have equation 2 I have equation 2 here for both sides I will divide it by what sin square theta now what do you get sin square by sin square sin square theta by sin square theta plus cos square theta by sin square theta equals to 1 by sin square theta. What I am doing is uh, for on both the sides for every term I am dividing by what? Sin square theta. Now sin square theta sin square theta cancel we get 1 plus this we can write it as cos theta by sin theta whole square and this we can write it as 1 by sin theta whole square because 1 square is 1 right so now see 1 plus okay just now we have derived cos theta by sin theta is nothing but cot theta so we can write this as what cot square theta cos by sin is cot we have square so we get cot square theta equals to and in the previous session we have seen 1 by sin theta reciprocal of sin theta is what cosec theta so this we can write it as what cosec square theta right so now this is your second identity 1 plus cot square theta is what cosec square theta okay now let's use what let's see the third identity to see the third identity for the same equation 2 instead of dividing by cos square theta Divide it, I mean, instead of dividing by sin square theta, you divide it by what? Cos square theta. 
height. So dividing dividing by cos square theta by cos square theta on equation two on both sides or two equation two. Dividing by cos square theta to equation two on both sides. What do you get? Divide by cos square, sine square by cos square plus cos square by cos square plus one by cos square. So we get what? Sine square theta by cos square theta plus cos square theta by cos square theta equals to one by cos square theta. Now here you can see cos square and cos square get cancelled. We get one here, and here we get what sine by cos sine theta by cos theta whole square plus here cos square cos square got cancelled. We got one, and this we can write it as what one by cos theta whole square. Right. So now I'll just rearrange it and write. First I will write one plus sine by cos sine theta by cos theta is nothing but tan theta. Just now we have seen, right? So this is tan theta whole square. How can you write tan square theta equals to one by cos theta is nothing but sec theta. So sec theta whole square is nothing but what sec square theta. So one plus tan square theta is nothing but what sec square theta. So this is the third identity. So all these are what the three trigonometric identities. which are very useful in the whole trigonometric concept